Welcome to Board at Home 123. I'm Andy Browning. Guys, I am so sorry. It has been a hot minute since I posted a video. Things went really crazy after the release of the Mosca mounting system about a year and a half or so ago. And uh, oh my gosh, you guys, thank you so much. That has been an amazing, amazing journey. But Mosca has now picked up that board and they're in the process of manufacturing it. So it will be back on the market here shortly. In the meantime, my wife and I actually own another business. Uh, it's a salon and spa. And so I have gone back to school uh, to get my nursing degree so that we can work towards a, a med spa type of environment. And I uh, just wrapped up my finals and uh, everything went great. But now I am on my break and I wanted to make a video. So I decided to pick the, oh, hey there, Jack. So I decided to pick uh, the project that it would be a lot of fun. And that is my Barazza Vario coffee grinder. It gave up the ghost about oh, two weeks ago uh, in the middle of a grind. And I did a little digging into it at that time, cleaning it up, making sure the burrs were all good and everything. They are rebuildable. So I contacted Barazza and ordered a bunch of parts for it. I think the problem is the circuit board, but I ordered a bunch of everything else just in case. So we're gonna dig into that and just kind of see what has gone on with it. And I've never done this before. And quite honestly, I'm not following any directions. So we're just gonna fumble our way through this. Um, be kind in the comments. I'm sure I'm gonna make a hundred mistakes, but I'm gonna go ahead and show those mistakes so that you don't do the same thing. And uh, let's just see what happens. And with that, let's dig in. And my understanding is that these are rebuildable. So I ordered some parts and we're gonna go through and see what it takes to fix this thing. I've done a little bit of testing already and I believe the problem is actually the PCB on it. So we're gonna look at the circuit board and see about replacing that. First things first, let's get rid of the hopper. And I don't know if I'm gonna to need to remove the burrs yet or not. So for now, we're gonna leave those. Now on these, you're gonna to want to take some wire cutters or something, just kind of get underneath these back feet. Now I'm not probably gonna be as careful as some might be because I bought some replacements. I'm gonna replace those two. Figure we'll just refurbish the whole thing. Let's pop that out of there. Now down inside that, there's a Phillips screw. Pop that out. I use a magnetic screwdriver so that I can pull the screws out if, if it's possible. If not, we'll just flip it upside down, or well, right side up, I guess. We'll just drop that screw out of there, maybe. I know you want to come out. If you don't, it doesn't matter. I still want you to. Okay, so we have that out. Now I'm gonna pull out my collector bin, set that aside. With these, you just kind of flex the front a little bit. Just a touch. Lift up just a tiny little bit, and the whole thing slides off. We'll set that aside too. So inside, what you're going to see is you've got your motor and the belt up here that drives the mechanism. And back inside there, you're gonna see the circuit board. And that's what we need to get down to. Now I've taken it apart to this point, so I'm not really sure exactly what all is gonna be involved. So bear with me. Okay, we're back. I just had to grab an Allen wrench. So we're gonna pull the motor out. And the first thing I need to do is just loosen that up. Uh, this is gonna take a little bit of time. Kind of awkward to get in there. Yeah, there's not gonna be a whole lot of rushing this part. That's okay, I'm not in a hurry. See, this is the fun of doing it real time because quite honestly, I've never done this before. I think I've mentioned that. So we're figuring it out together. If I make some mistakes, be kind in the comments. I am not a trained professional. Oh, and by the way, if you see the bottle sit in the background, this episode is not brought to you by Pellegrino. I was just thirsty. So I grabbed some water. Wait, there's just no getting fingers in there. 
All right, I will be patient. I don't know if you're like me, but I'm so accustomed to using power tools that when I have to do something manually, it's like, oh my gosh, it takes forever. Okay, and just like that, the motor is out. Okay, so looking at the way this thing is set up, I don't know that it really is going to matter too much which one is which, but we'll make sure that the black is over on this side. And the red is over on that side. And we're going to set that motor aside. Because I think the motor's fine. I tested that and I think it's okay. Okay, so now we're in here to the board. And I'm actually going to release this wire really quick. Pull that out of there. And what else do we need to release? We need to pop that out. Pull it off to the side. I'm gonna pop this one out. Pull it off to the side, maybe. And no, that one just wants to be up here. Okay, so now we're going to release this wire as well. All right, so now we have all the wires released. I was just popping those off of there, 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 and there. So now that they're out, I don't think I need to release this at all and anything at the bottom. So now it looks like there's just three screws and we're gonna pull those out. I have my little mini screwdriver that I'm using and we're going to that in there, I think that's gonna be about the right size. Yeah, looks like it's about right. And we'll set those screws to the side. Put that up there. There we go. And I think, I think that's it. Nope, I missed a screw. There's one up here. Four screws. I'm gonna pull that one out. Okay, now it's loose. And that's it. So I really don't know what has gone on with this, but uh, my grinder just was grinding along and then abruptly stopped. I gave one last little heave and that was the end of it. Okay, so now, we should have some brand new parts. We'll set this aside for now. And let's see what the good folks at Baratza have sent me. Well, what I paid the good folks at Baratza to send me. Oh, by the way, this video is not sponsored by them either. This video is not sponsored. I'm just doing a thing at home. Parts and widgets and pieces. There's my replacement feet. I did get a replacement belt for it, just in case I needed to. Not a bad idea to have some spares. There is a switch up inside where the hopper goes, right up here. I don't know if you can see in there, but that is, if that switch doesn't work, nothing works. So I got a replacement for that just in case. New wiring harnesses. And there it is, the new circuit board. Let's see what has changed. Honestly, this has been a fantastic grinder. I've had this since 2016, and it has just gone and gone and gone. Well, it has changed a bit. So there's the before. The capacitor is very different. And we're yellow, not blue anymore. Hmm. Other than that, it looks about the same. Okay, out with the old and with the new. So we'll set this aside for a moment. Actually, I'm gonna put this on the anti-static stuff. That one doesn't need to be anti-static, it's already dead. And last but not least, it's a thing. I didn't wanna not have this thing because I didn't know what this thing actually did. And it was cheap. And I didn't wanna to have to pay shipping for something that small. So I got a thing. 
Please tell me I'm not the only person that does that. I'll just drop the board in for now. I literally cannot tell where that is. There it is. That's where that's supposed to go. Just snug. It doesn't need to be cinched down tight. It's not going anywhere. And we'll drop this one in as well. And this little guy right down here. I'll try to keep my big fat head out of the screen. And then this guy. Okay, and just like that, we have a new board. So this one, the little part is on the top. So I'm going to take that, slide it on, not forgetting about our little friend here. Pop that in. Pop that in. And last but not least, I think my harness is fine. I'm just going to keep the other one for a future date if this ever does fry, then I'll have it. So we're going to do this. And I might need a little help getting that push down in there. And that's it. Okay, pull that off to the side. And now... I'm just going to take this motor, I'm going to wipe it down. Side note, when you're doing this, you're probably going to want to clean it up and vacuum it out before you do it. Check your burrs. Um, that's a whole other thing, but I already did that before we got started here, so we're good. All right, this was towards the back with that little black square, so I'm going to slide that right back in the same way it came out. Okay. Well, thank you, Lord. That was kind of great. All right. And then we'll put this one back up on the top. Slip this down through it. looks to be my tension adjustment right there. So we're just kind of pull out. So what I'm doing right now is as I'm sitting there, I can see that this is a pivot point and this appears to be my, my adjustment for the tension over here. So, or maybe it is, no, nope, this is my adjustment. So this is the adjustment for the tension on the left side. So what I'm gonna do Let's just pull it back so that it's taut on the, on the belt. And then we're gonna tighten this guy down just a touch. Just keep it a little snug so I have something to pull against. And I'm just gonna say, take your time because that's what we're gonna have to do here. Okay, you can kind of see the belt in there tightening and loosening. So I'm going to pull this back just so that it's a little taut, like I said. And then we're just going to take our time, snug this thing down. Okay, it feels tight. Now we need to hook up the motor. 
I believe it was black on this side. And red on this side. And make sure that we've tucked everything in there. And everything's connected. Looks like it is. Okay, everything seems to be good. Take this, we line up this little part on the back over here. Take this and drop it down, rotate it so that that is in line with the notch there. That should activate it. Success. Cool. Okay, so the motor works, it was just the board. So, let's unplug it again. I don't need to be working on something that's live. Neither do you. All right, let's do this. First things first, we gotta put the back on. Slip that back in place. Flip it upside down and we will drop these screws back in. Let's take that one. And something like this, I would recommend not using a power driver just because you can strip out that plastic. Now I'm gonna pull these out because I wanna replace them. Mine kind of are a little dirty and I, I just wanna Put in the new ones. Why? Because I can. Okay, I'll set those aside just in case I need them. All right, new feet going in. That's one. And two. three and four. Okay, let's reassemble. Put that back in. Okay. And that sounds like I have my burrs basically adjusted. Okay, let's see how we end up. And let's go. We'll just do a double shot. I don't think that's grinding. So I think what I did is I, I think I did plug the red and the black wires in backwards on the motor. So definitely double check that. Don't make the same mistake I did, but I think, let's see what happens here. Just like that, we have coffee grounds again. Well, that was a fun project. It was a whole lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I really, I, gosh, I don't know what I thought it was gonna be, but uh, digging into it, not too hard to get in there. I think the hardest thing was probably those motor mount screws. They're a little tight in there. It's kind of hard to get fingers in. But just take your time, you'll be okay. If you have one of these Vario machines that has maybe died on you, and I assume some of their other, uh, the other Baratza machines, I believe they're all rebuildable. So contact Baratza before you throw the thing away. And if you can fix it, I highly recommend it. I think all said and done, gosh, this was, um, this was about one tenth of the cost of buying a new machine. And I showed it in real time. So we're about 15 minutes for that repair. I did a little bit of uh, diagnostic work on it. I probably have another, I don't know, maybe hour into cleaning it up and diagnosing it and just trying to figure out what was broken. But overall, not a bad project and uh, something that was actually kind of fun to do. So thank you so much for watching Board at Home 123. I look forward to catching you on the next one. To all those who have subscribed, thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that button. It's just right down there. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. All right, you guys, take care. God bless. Bye.